so game number two spawning in the top left hand corner as the blue zerg it is tea time prime currently sitting on a donut in this final and his opponent spawning in the bottom right hand corner as the red terran it is frisco who is one up in this best of three finals okay so i wonder what kind of tactic um, T time prime is going forward now as he did that zergling bailing push didn't really work for him and Fisco he did do a really nice build he did get his secret missile and that is a really cool thing to see as we do see a supply deeper going down it's not the normal spot we see we normally see players actually block off and ward off So it's just drone up here in about two more in a second we will probably see what T Time Prime is gonna go for. Do what I'd like to see spawning pool and then just pretty much doing all then. So we are seeing uh refining first, are we just gonna see, are we gonna see Helium play coming out of Frisco for the moment? Now we see the barracks coming down. So he's going to get some defences. We do see his hatch first from T Time Prime. So he has three works in the gas. So it is either going to be early Halion or early Banshee play. Oh. So I don't think we'll see Reaper play. Not really against Zerg. Normally we do see Hellion, so it would be good to just see what he just put down after that. In T-Time Prime, we are seeing that he has got his spawn in cooldown. We are seeing that he is going to scout now. His hatch is about halfway done and his spawning board is about halfway done. And there we see, we see the first factory going down and we start seeing second gas, so I guess it is going to be a pretty big Hellion play. We do see... T time prime taking this third, so he's going for a double expand straight off the bat. In the first game, in his semi final game, it did work, but we'll soon see how he pulls out his time. But I didn't like his Zergling play, he did a lot better with his Roach's play, that is what I think is his strong point. But now we do see Frisco's Orb Tool just finish up now, he just dropped his ball straight away. Do see that he is mining with three SCVs on both gas. As we do see another. So we see a tech lab straight away, and we see another factory. So we're going to see straight heavy tech build. So we are seeing heading. So I guess he's going to go for blue flame. So yes, we are going to see early blue flame Hellions on the field. Really going to be nice to see. As we look at Tea Time Prime, he's just really draining up and he has no idea why he's going to come and hit him soon. He really does need to get some units out. He's... Let's have a look. So if there's one Hellion out, two Hellions out, he's going to be producing two more. There's going to be four Hellions. Five Hellions. So this is going to be a big Hellion push. And at the moment, T-Time Prime really does not have anything to count for this. He's just putting his Roach Worm down now. He's still draining up heavily. His third base has no works on at all. He does just have his Queen out now. He's getting his injects pretty much every time though, so that's good to see. So this could be a one base all in from Frisco, as we are just seeing it. It's just going to be mass Hellions. He really does need to start building more supply depots, as he has now got two working on it. We're going to see that this Hellion is going to scout now to try and find out where he is. So we do see double evolution and spine called up kind of walled off coming on. We do see three roaches on its way out now. The second base, this third base is 
not drone droned up yet, so it is a bit of a waste of minerals at the moment. You see it's not being used. Because now we are going to see if he's going to see that he has roaches and he's going to have head in. T-Time Prime will see, ah, the blue flame. So, it's going to be six Hellions versus one Queen, maybe. Oh, Dragon Speed. So, as we do see more Hellions joining up with the Force, nine Hellions all together. Nine Blue Flame Hellions against these Roaches. He'll just lose so many, but he one hit the Roaches. Wow, T-Time Prime with nice hold position on these Roaches. Really doing work well, but he's going to go for a while. He's going to get quite a few kills Eight his work is killed. But T-Time Prime, he didn't get lost. Ah, so he did lose a lot in that push. Didn't really pay off for him as he did lose about 12, 12 Hellions, I think he did lose. He is just carry on with this big push, he is going to get another tech lab, so he's going to switch. Yes, now he goes into siege tanks. Now he's getting two star ports out. Hmm, now he's getting his expansion out. And there is a delay server in progress, there is about a 30 second delay on the server, on the stream. So we are seeing that this armor is coming down, so he's going to go for his heavy upgrades on these units. He is carrying on with these Hellion players, but 8 Hellions versus Roaches, it won't work, it really won't. I don't know, let's see how much damage it does to this queen. Three shots. So he has killed the queen just then, and he's just going to pull out. So he's going to be a heavy tech build for him, so he really does need to get on these gas, he does need to get. With this amount of heavy tech, he does need to take it over base, he will need as much gas as he can get, really. We are going to see Banshees coming out soon. It's like fourth gas is coming down as we do see these Hellions. Get a bit, do, get a bit munched on as these are all on hold positions. So nice position from T-Time Prime with the hold position. He has kind of shut down by T Time Pri Prime, so. Frisco, I don't know, really going this heavy tech build is not always the best. Definitely with just on one base. He keeps getting supply blocked all the time as well. And T Time Prime, if he pushes out at the moment, he could do a lot of damage. T Time Prime himself is even supply blocked. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Fluffy, T-Time Prime did win yesterday's Good as Gold, so he is playing really well at the moment. As you do see these roaches, try and deny these Hellions. Hellions are just going to walk around them and just be like, I'm going in this base anyway. So let's see how many kills they get. One kill. Four kills. I'll line them up for it. Wow. Some Hellions have killed 17 workers at the moment. That is a lot. So we do see these four roaches. Just going to check and see if he's expanded or not. And now T-Time Prime will see how the big tank build that he's gone. Five siege tanks are four. And three banshees off two bases. That is 
not a big force. Wow, as we do see Muters just slightly come around the back and these are going to do a lot of damage. And so we'll just follow these around and just see what damage they do. Balls splash damage is really so much damage. Steel Prime just really kiting him. He's just going to go back around to the front and just take out this mineral line as well. He does have a Sancho. That's a lot of minerals. That's a lot of SCV, sorry. Did stop mining time as this guy did put it on. Just her um, mass repair. So now Teton Prime does go Masslings really. He's gonna get the attack upgrade and wow, there comes Phalanx. As he's as uh, Teton Prime is just getting a bit harassed now, he's getting pushed on. He needs to focus down these siege tanks, these are gonna do damage. Teton Prime needs to push now, he needs to get these Phalanx doing the damage. These mutants really just clearing up, just gonna snipe down all the functions as we do see this big push coming down the middle. The bailings are a bit far behind as they just roll along the floor. I have this wow. Just turns around as soon as that sea shank hits. So we do see these mutants now coming down for two time prime, we do see it's got even more being built up. Like a base. That's if he just check him, we'll see where he is. So, if T time Prime pushes now, he's just got to be careful of that C track, really. That C track is the most thing. He just goes straight for it and he just takes out the C track. The creatures do get very picked on as these four splash them, it's just really insane. I think at the moment, if T-Time Prime just goes mass links at the moment and just just runs in, he will pretty much kill this tech build. Because he only has, what, three Hellions, a Siege Tank and fours that will do the main damage. And then obviously he's got the Banshees. If you look at T-Time Prime's army now, he is producing nine Bailings, he has got quite a few links and he has quite a lot of roaches. So this army really will is a quite well built army. He's got anti air, he's got ground army as well, so as we do see Frisco now taking the next his his fourth base expansion and he's finishing building his third base expansion. I think if T-Time Prime doesn't push soon, he will get overrun by this tag build. As this is quite a big army now pushing down for T-Time Prime. He, if he engages this right, he could walk over this army. The fours will do the most damage to his mutants. That is one thing he's got to target down. Now tea time prime for C cancel he's got couple he's got some tanks that aren't too still this is the thing for now. Bailing can now go in. Six five. T time prime and that this guy lands his bike and it's not clear to still. Oh wow, T T-Time Prime in a bit of trouble here now. He has got a cancellation on the 4th. He did do quite a bit of damage. But just looking at his army now. He is going heavy roach army now. Yeah, on waypoint. I don't know, he's pulled him back. That's good to see. So if we take a look at the army supply, is <laughs> two fours, two siege tanks, and three Hellions versus 
20 roaches and 7 links. Now we do see Frisco now. As T Time Prime says, GG. So Frisco is 